Welcome to game night tonight for another unboxing of DC deck building game crossover pack number one, the Justice Society of America. So there are currently about seven or eight, I believe it's eight, um, crossover packs for the DC deck building game, which add more variety, a little bit more fun, different characters, different superheroes, supervillains, equipment, superpowers, everything that changes up the game. And these pack, these crossover packs tend to have a separate set of rules, which help you to become more powerful, gain more power, uh, gain different cards, thus making you a little bit better and able to get more victory points in the end. So first and foremost on the top, you have your instructions for this particular crossover pack. The very first one, um, it'll tell you all the verbiage that you need to know, specifying the, and clarifying all the different words and different cards that are included in here to help you be the best play with this particular crossover pack. So you have your instructions there. And then at the bottom right, you'll notice that there's always crossover one uh, for this particular one, but any crossover pack, crisis pack, it will always have the crossover or the thing at the bottom of the right of each card so that you can separate them out and play them mashed up together again at a different time. That way making it easy to organize and keep separate. All right, so first and foremost, you have your superheroes you get to play as as you fight against the super villains. This first one being Mr. Terrific. And I'm gonna go through this kind of quick, so if you need to pause the video to kind of check out their powers, go ahead and do so. But we have Mr. Terrific. You got Wildcat. You have, ooh, Jay Garrick. You got Alan Scott. Got Dr. Fate, the shiny gold helmet. You got Power Girl. And Star Girl. Those are your superheroes you're going to be playing with in this particular crossover pack. Um, you can always just mix and match it with whatever you want to, but highly recommend mix and match it with it, uh, with the entire. Uh, crossover pack that you have because um, sometimes playing with the normal ones doesn't actually get you as much benefit to the cards that you're adding into the the deck as well but for our first equipment that we have it is the hourglass all right we've got the t-spheres you got liberty bell a defense is our first hero dr midnight Citizen Steel. And then our first location, we got Monument Point. Ongoing, as all locations are. You got Superpower, Girl Power. It's another defense and power, which is nice. Mystic Bolts. And then our villains, we got Scythe. Most villains carry an attack, which is... Always fun, especially if you're doing a free-for-all game. Per Degaton. Per Degaton. Degaton. However you want to pronounce that. And then moving into the supervillains, we've got Solomon Grundy. You got Mordru the Mer Merciless. Mordru the Merciless. You got Icicle. Cobra, Ultra Humanite, Gentleman Ghost, looks all nice in his get up, Eclipso, and finally Gog. So again, we have a whole new slew of super villains as well as superheroes to play with adding a few more cards into the deck to make your decks a little bit more powerful as you buy them and then your instructions here to tell you exactly what's going on in the game to specify what new aspects of the game these cards bring but all that's wrapped up into this tiny patch package of the dc deck building game crossover pack number one justice society of america 
Thank you for joining us for this unboxing. I'm excited to play it. I'm excited to add a little bit new uh, dimensions, characters, everything into the game itself because sometimes just playing the base game isn't enough and it's always fun to add a little bit more variety in there, make it a little bit more fun and challenging for you and your friends. But this concludes our unboxing for DC deck building game crossover pack number one, The Justice Society of America. Join us next time on Game Night Tonight for other unboxings and game playthroughs, what have you. But we will see you next time.